Are you gaming on stream? And are you also talking with people in Discord that you can hear on stream? It would be cool for your viewers to know who is talking. Having their name and icon be displayed with the voice they hear. It's super easy to set this up in Discord, as Discord already has a native feature that can show you who is talking while playing a game. But before we're gonna set this up, I wanna thank our sponsor, Own.pro. With Own.pro, you can get your own overlays. There's so many choices to make your stream look good. You can go for this one, or you can go for this one, which is totally different. What fits your style best? And you know what the cool thing about this is, guys? With Go3, you get 50% off. Link is down below in the description. To get this overlay from Discord in OBS, we need to make sure that we open Discord first. We we'll go to a name here and go to the cockwheel saying user settings. Click on that. Then here, if we scroll down a little bit, we see activity settings game overlay. We're gonna click on that and we're gonna make sure that we enable in-game overlay. It could be that this is already set up for you and that you don't have to do it, but make sure to check this. You can also set a keyboard binding to toggle overlay lock. Let me just set this to shift F9 for a second so we know that we can toggle the overlay lock. How big do we want the people that are in our Discord to display in this overlay? Do we want them large or small? Display names always while speaking or never. Never is basically the same as off, so you probably want always or only while speaking. I prefer always because then you can see who is already in your Discord and not when somebody is speaking. But if you prefer only seeing the person that is speaking, make sure to put it on this setting instead. Same with the users, display them always or only while speaking, not just the name, but also the icon. Here you can say in which corner you want the overlay to be in. Top left, top right, bottom right, or bottom left. Depends on which game you play, there might be information at a certain corner. You might be wanting your webcam in a certain corner, so pick the one that fits you best. And here it says show text chat notifications. I recommend turning these off because these will also be displayed in your stream. Okay, so how does it go on now? We're gonna start a game. So I'm launching Overwatch 2 at the moment. And then if we go to Discord and we join a voice channel, let me go in the live channel because that's locked. <laughs> There we go. Here, when we start Overwatch, I've got an FPS counter and everything, but you see that I'm in here. You see, when I start talking, it lets up. And when I'm quiet, it doesn't let up. If you have multiple people in your voice chat, this will be a longer list of people. They will light up if they're talking and they will go like this when they're not talking. But how do we actually display this? In your OBS now. So I do have OBS here and we're gonna add a gameplay capture. Okay, play capture. We're gonna call it Overwatch 2. Because this is a game Overwatch 2. <laughs> and then we click on OK. Now we capture a specific window and we capture the game. It should appear right underneath here and here as well. However, we can see that the Discord overlay is not in here. What we do is we scroll down and then capture third party overlays. If you click on this, it's gonna take a second. And we can see that right here, my icon started to appear. And if we click on OK now, we can see that this icon is actually displaying on stream as well. So this is an easy way to set up the Discord overlay in your OBS. I do have a whole playlist about OBS where you can learn so much more. So let's jump into that and I will see you there.